challenge is how big a win is that? It's it's a big win, obviously. You know, um, I think it was one of them days where it was it wasn't for the want of trying. You know, I think we've we've had a quite a bit of the ball, and to be fair to Queen of the South, they've made it really difficult for us. Um, but we just we just never made the the right decisions more often than not. We just we rushed things a little bit. We looked probably the result beforehand in a strange type of way probably didn't help. You know, so but that's what they're going to have to deal with. You know, they're going to have to deal with that from now to the end of the season. Um, and most importantly, you know, to to get the results and uh, the way we did, you know, is is always nice as a coach. It's not great for the for the ticker, you know, but it's it's great for team morale. It seemed as if Queen of the South were not happy, be it the the drop ball or whatever. What was your own view? I, I think well, I've just actually seen it, and I think the referees dropped it, and their players not gone for it. So Fonts has just played, um, but he's actually dropped it in between the two of them. So that's that's my take on it. How does it set you up for the big one at Ibrox next week? It, it obviously sets the the tie up really nicely to be honest I don't think irrespective of the result today um, it was going to be anything other than a than a, a great game anyway so the fact that Rangers have dropped points today and the fact that we've picked points up and we move level I think just adds a little bit more spice to the pot Is that the sort of win in that manner that could win championships? We're not going to mention the name it's, it's, it's the sort of win that can help you achieve things. Um, but there'll be no one getting carried away. We're, we're still a long way. We've still got Christmas. And I think, you know, towards the end of January, we'll really get, an, I think, an idea and a clearer picture of, of how the, the tables or the league's going to run its course. Just finally, um, newspaper reports today suggesting Scott Allen and Anthony Stokes could be returning to East Road in January. Is there anything in that? How accurate could that be? I don't know, actually. I haven't even seen the paper. Or, or Someone actually mentioned the headline to me earlier on. Um, so You're not ruling it out, though? I'm not ruling it in either. James, should you have got a point out of that one? Yeah, I think we're, we're a bit frustrated with, obviously, the, how the game ended. I thought the players were magnificent from, from the first minute. We knew that, obviously, Hibs uh, were going to try and close the gap between themselves and Rangers, having seen the result earlier in the day. But I thought we were were magnificent and say we created chances ourselves it wasn't a one-sided game and then obviously a little bit controversial uh, at the end with, with how Hibs get their goal and uh, we're, we're all a wee bit sore at the minute. Talk us through that then from your point of view. Yeah well, it, it leads up to that I think Kyle Hutton gets hit, hit in the face with the ball edge of our box so Mark Miller's chasing I think it's phase of five into the corner so when the play stops it's going to be a bounce ball I think in the corner and we're going to obviously then play because we've got Hibs deep in their corner but I think the way it looks since seeing it back that the referee kind of drops the ball into Fontaine's path uh, and then he just the attack from there and plus we couldn't get Kyle Hutton back on the pitch who, who had been off uh, when the linesman hopefully had, had seen him at the side but they said that obviously the communication they couldn't hear each other so we're obviously a bit disappointed because we're a man down plus it looks like they've kind of had a free run at, at the possession after the drop ball. Could you argue that they were still deep inside their own half you still could have defended it or do you feel that the, the man less has, has been a big impact? I think the man less has a has an impact, but we we have got three centre halves on the pitch at that time as well, so we're looking to defend that better. Uh, the way it kind of pans out, he's getting a header probably in the in the middle of the six yard box, so that's frustrating. Uh, but as I say, if we dealt with obviously the the bounce ball instant better and having that extra man uh, in midfield, it, it might have stopped it getting to that. What did the ref say to you? Uh, I just think he felt that. Uh, Mark Miller was, was possibly looking to time waste but I think when Mark Miller's there and the referee's in control of the situation he's ready to, to restart the game he's got to be looking at it that it's a, a ball between two players rather than dropping into a, a Hibs path uh, and as I say they get up the pitch and we are still having the man off they, they go on and, and cross a ball and score a goal What was going on afterwards with it looked like Chris Higgins and Dominic Malonga? Uh, i never seen that to be honest I think everybody's a bit frustrated and, and things got a bit heated and that's because the players feel hard done by obviously Hibs are delighted because they've We've won the game uh, and they've got the three points as well. So I think these things happen on the pitch. We're just a bit disappointed how it, how it panned out today. Given that and given recent performances at Easter Road in particular where you've done really well, can you take positives? Is it just a wee bit at the end that 
leaves a bad taste. Yeah, we were really happy at half time. We said that we had to, to put a, another 45 in like we did in the first half, and I felt we did that. Uh, to lose a goal so late it's frustrating, but we need to take positives. And I think if we, if we play like that week in, week out, uh, we'll win a lot more games because consistency has been probably our big issue this year. Uh, and it's, if we can get that attitude in that location like we had today, we'll, we'll be doing all right.